To write the formula for copper one carbonate, we'll go to the periodic table and look up copper, that's Cu, and then carbonate, that's not on the periodic table. It has ATE at the end. That tells us it's a polyatomic ion, and we need to look that up on a table of polyatomic ions. When we do, it's CO3 two minus. So copper, that's a metal. And then this carbonate ion here, it's made up of nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetals. We have an ionic compound, and we need to think about the charges when we write the formula. We have a little bit of help here from the name. Copper one, this one tells us copper has a one plus charge. And we know from looking up the carbonate that the CO3 has a two minus charge. These need to add up to zero, have a net charge of zero for this to be a neutral compound. Copper one carbonate is a neutral compound. We'll use something called the crisscross method to do that. We can move the two here and the one here. We don't actually write the one by convention. Get rid of the charges. And this is the formula for copper one carbonate. Let's check our work to make sure that we got it right. So copper we said was one plus and the carbonate we said was two minus. So I have one of these carbonate ions. So I have a two minus here. I have two coppers and each one is one plus. Two times the one plus, that's two plus. Two plus and two minus, that adds up to zero. And that charge is zero. This is the correct formula for copper one carbonate. Cu2CO3. Let's clean it up a bit and we're done. This is Dr. B with the formula for copper one carbonate. Cu2CO3. Thanks for watching.